your sleep schedule is all kinds of messed up. And when I was in like high school and elementary school, like I remember going home after school, this is like three or 4 p.m. Then I would take like a four hour nap and then I would be awake from 12 a.m. to like 4 a.m. And then I'd have school at eight. And I'm like, I just felt like a zombie every damn day. I was your, your definition of a night owl. So when it comes to actually fixing your sleep schedule, whether that's for school or work, but more for probably you're watching this if you're in school and you're young, well, I can relate to you. And there's pretty much two main methods of resetting your sleep schedule. The first step is the 24 hour method, which means you stay up for 24 hours, so you'll be so tired, so then you'll be able to fall asleep at your desired time, and then you'll be able to wake up at your desired time. But the thing is, you have to make sure once it's reset, then you can do this throughout the day. Cause you can't just do it for one day and expect your whole schedule just to be like back to normal. You have to do this over and over again. It's called a schedule and a routine for a reason. Method number two is what I like to call which means it doesn't matter what time you go to bed, you know? You could be watching Power Rangers until like one or two in the morning, but you set your alarm clock to 7 a.m. So it doesn't matter if you get you sleep at 9 p.m. or you sleep at 4 a.m. You have to wake up at seven and you keep doing this on a continual basis which then, you know, your body will eventually set itself into a pattern because that's how amazing it is. So if, if you haven't watched my first part, you should watch it right here where I go more in depth into these specific schedules and types of routines and how to break it. But on top of this, these are my hacks my, or my sleep hacks on how, you know, you can easily fix your sleeping schedule. The first one is no naps. And if you have to be a nap person and you're like, oh, I just want to take a nap, I'm so tired. It can't be more than 20 minutes because if anything more than than 20 minutes then that's pretty much going into your REM sleep cycle and that means it's gonna mess up your whole entire pattern again so 20 minutes max but most preferably it's not called stay 24 hours awake and I'm like okay 15 hours now I'm tired I'm gonna take a nap none of that another hack that I like to do is if I really have to get up early in the morning like super early whether that's for work or school and I'm like I know I'm gonna be super tired what I do is I chug a lot of water and yes this is from the Simpsons so me chugging a lot of water before I go to bed which means you know hopefully I get X amount of sleep but it will force me to wake up earlier than usual why because chances are, as much as comfy you are in bed and you're snuggling with your pillows, no one wants to piss their pants. And that kind of feeling and urge is gonna override your sleepiness. So you're gonna have to get up and pee. But now you're awake, you might as well just stay awake. And that's how I get up early. And lastly, if you really wanna be serious about your sleep schedule, you can't have anything like caffeine, no energy drinks, especially if you're a super sensitive person like me emotionally and physically when it comes to you know stimulants because you will just be in bed wide awake and you're like it's 12 it's midnight and i can't sleep okay what happens if i roll over to the left how about i sleep like this nope i'm still wide awake so one of the reasons why you know i have a video on sleeping schedules and you know my own sleep schedule is because i remember especially in terms of you know the times of high school where i remember my mood would be greatly affected with things like you know like me being openly as i am about things like depression anxiety me having you know a not proper sleep schedule you know greatly affects how i am throughout the day you know this affects my mood my anxiety and all of that so if you have like a decent sleep schedule to start with you know you want to be at your best peak performance so why set yourself back in terms of mood and you know how much energy you have if you don't get enough sleep you know it's the most important thing but too much sleep is just as mad as too little sleep it's always about you know comfortable but, you know, in terms of hustling and this and that, you know, that's another story. But if you want to fix your schedule for sleep, your sleeping schedule for school, whatever it is, then these are the methods and how I do it and the importance of sleep and how it regulates your mood. Because if I don't get sleep, I And I'll see y'all in the next one. Doses. But the thing is with this method is that 
it's gonna be ridiculously hard to stay up during the day because you stayed awake for 24 hours. This includes, you know,